but the milk from the cow is very special. It nourishes the brain tissues in what's called sattva guna, the mode of goodness. Wow, that actually sounds very convincing and not at all like spiritual bumbo jumbo. I think I found the British sad guru. Wherever I go, uh, I can get milk from protected cows. And I think vegans shouldn't have an issue with that. Seems we've got a sad guru 2.0 on our hands, but who's worse? Good question. I'm going to react to the white sad guru's new video, Why I Am Not a Vegan. It seems this guy's team really doesn't like vegans too. I looked through the comments and some of the responses on behalf of this guy were really bitchy. Have fun eating enough Marmite to get enough vitamin B12. Don't whinge. Do something practical. All right then, let's find out why Bhakti Swami, the white sad guru, isn't vegan. There's a lot of woo-woo nonsense in this one. Stick around to the end so you don't miss the best bits. You know how some white guys start dressing all gangster, even though the only hood they've ever seen is the one on the Hugo Boss <laughs> hoodie? This guy is the Indian Hindu version of that guy. This dude actually grew up somewhere in Southern England. Anyway. Why I'm not a vegan? Here's one very good reason. Her name is Mangala. We're fucked. I'm sure that cow would much rather you encouraged people to go vegan, considering most of her relatives will end up in slaughterhouses thanks to people eating meat and drinking milk. I'm a lacto-vegetarian. I take milk products, not eggs or fish or chicken or meat. You don't want to be cruel to animals. But if you're still wearing animal skin, using animal tested products, paying for animal entertainment like SeaWorld or whatever, you're still funding a ton of animal cruelty. And someone can do all of that and still call themselves a vegetarian. But then the vegan movement came up and said, hey, look, even the dairy and you take milk products, the cows, they're treated very badly. They're tortured and then they're just killed. So it's unethical, the vegans say to even take milk products because you're supporting a, an industry of violence. They're right. This might be the only bit of truth we see in the video. There is an alternative and it's called cow protection. Oh, you mean like going vegan and not funding the dairy industry? That's a great idea. That's cow protection. Go Raksha, cow protection. That means you look after cows. See, look, she's so peaceful. She likes being brushed. You could, you know, just brush her and not keep getting her pregnant and taking her milk. You can just look after animals without expecting them to work for you. I don't believe you. I know Sad Guru likes to pretend it isn't possible and that's most likely why this guy is getting his information. Activists are coming and saying, these bulls are being treated very cruel. We want him to live. That's why we're making him work. If it's a male, we make him work that way. If it's a female, we milk her. It's good. Otherwise, you will not give them any chance to live. What? It is totally possible to care for animals without making them work for you. You look after cows, not just when they give milk. You! You liar! If they didn't give you milk, you wouldn't be looking after them. And you don't torture them for milk by in injecting them and forcing so much milk out of them. Treat them nicely and out of love and affection, they'll give plenty of milk. They only give milk when they're pregnant, if they're not being injected with semen by you, or if you're not forcing them to breed by bringing in a bull and tying the cow up and letting the bull have his way. Are you just sitting around and hoping they'll mate, hoping they'll breed? Well... We're waiting. And if they don't end up mating, are you happy to do without the milk? Are you happy to just let them live there and keep looking after them, giving them medical treatment and food? Not a chance. This guy or somebody pays will be forcing these cows to breed so they can keep a constant flow of milk coming from them. And when they get older, you don't kill them, you look after them. Because after all, the cow is just like our mother. Look, they're cows, right? I love them. I love cows. But they're not your fucking mother. Ooh. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. They have their own kids and cow shit to deal with. They've got to save up to send their kids to cow college. They've got to take their kids to cow school every morning. They don't need to be feeding you as a grown ass man. The milk from the cow is very special. It nourishes the brain tissues in what's called sattva guna, the mode of goodness, which is con conducive for ourselves becoming peaceful and ourselves 
making spiritual advancement and understanding spiritual subject matters. Wow, that actually sounds very convincing and not at all like spiritual mumbo jumbo. It kind of sounds like the origin story of a shit superhero. Milkman. He was just an ordinary man until one day he drank 10 liters of cow's milk in one go. His brain reached the full level of Satwagun, giving him the ultimate mode of goodness conducive for spiritual advancement, making him the man we now know as Milkman. It's just like your physical mother, when she gets old, we don't just kill her because she's old, we look after her. So same with the cow. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Your mum didn't spend her entire life getting impregnated over and over again so you could take her milk for your spiritual advancement. Now you may say, well, that's not economical. How are the farmers gonna get by economically? Actually, apart from the milk, the cow dung and the cow urine are very valuable. You smell that? What is that? What? What's that smell? The cologne? Money. Okay. I smell money. Okay. The solution is always to monetize the animal as much as possible, right? I'm sure they're not just pretending to care while they squeeze every last resource out of their bodies. A problem with veganism is that without taking some animal products, you don't get full nutrition. <laughs> Serious? It didn't take long to get to the vegans don't get nutrition though. Vitamin B12. Uh, vegans, they have to get that from a chemically produced process. Oh, those scary supplements. YouTube search it. How to get a cow pregnant. Artificial insemination. Go and have a look and then tell me, which one do you think you'd rather do? Take a B12 supplement or pay for that? Because that's the choice this guy's posing to you. I'll let you make your mind up on that one. In the West, they give a lot of importance to dogs. And in India, they give a lot of importance to cows. And by importance, he means breed them continuously so he can take their milk, shit, and piss to either use or sell. I'm doing this because I love you. Fuck you. And the bull is like our father. Cows eat grass, we can't eat grass. They convert grass into the miracle food, milk. You can't do that with any machine. It's God's arrangement. Or it could be, bear with me here, this may blow your mind. It could be that this is the evolution of a herbivorous mammal that led that mammal to produce milk for its young. The evolution didn't lead mammals to produce milk for delusional humans with crazy ideas of spiritual mind growth and colorful gods. That's just me though, guys. I mean, you make your own mind up on that, obviously. And you may say, well, some people, they like to eat meat. It's not so good, but it is a fact that some, many people like to eat meat. Well, if you like to eat meat, we can make a uh, deal with you. We'll give you beef free, but we won't kill the animal. How are you going to do that? Well, naturally they die in due course, and then you can take, you will give, if you like to eat, we'll give afterwards. I wonder if you do that for your real mother, mate. The cow is your mother after all, and the bull is your father. How does that work exactly? There could be so many arguments for or against veganism, but here's one good alternative. It seems vegans didn't think about it. They say, don't take milk products because you're supporting a violent dairy industry, but dairy production doesn't have to be violent. Dairy production still needs a pregnant cow. Why didn't you mention that in this whole process? Well, I guess you're not covering that because that's the bit you're pretending doesn't happen. And that's why you've ignored this question in the comment section of this video. You are happy to answer other comments though. They also feel pain. Why would you want to give pain to anyone? Unnecessarily, humans don't need to eat meat. Humans don't need to eat meat, that's true. They also don't need to use cows for silly spiritual milk-related bullshit either. I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with you there. My policy is to take milk only from protected cows. How are you getting them pregnant? Those cows which are kept and will never be killed. How? Are you getting them pregnant? In India, there are goshalas, which means places for keeping cows, which are not run commercially, but 
out of love for the cows to protect them, and they'll never be killed. They'll be allowed to live their life and be looked after very nicely and die naturally in the course of time. Animal rights activists in India have exposed many of these Gosholas, and they're basically just dairy farms but smaller. But it is true that most of them aren't killing the cows when they stop giving milk. They just kick them out to the street instead. So by taking a little trouble, wherever I go, I can get milk from protected cows. And I think vegans shouldn't have an issue with that. It's not feasible for the billions of people who want to drink milk to get milk in the way that you're suggesting. You don't even get milk in the way that you're suggesting. The cows are getting pregnant through violent methods in the way that you're suggesting. So it doesn't work. And look at the comment section of your own video. You're promoting that people drink the milk from those terrible farms that you were just calling out in this video. Whereas it is a good sentiment to stop taking milk if one does not get a himsa milk, we should note that Sri that Prabhupada emphasized drinking milk even though he very well knew the fate of the cows in the West. So he's literally promoting people in the West to drink that milk that he was just speaking against in his own video. Just more hypocritical spiritual bullshit. Do you want to see what a real guru looks like? Watch this video here where I compared sad guru to a real guru. It's about a vegan guru and a direct comparison between him and sad guru. So go check it out.